Hi, this is Ryan McClellan from iLookin.com, New Breed Games, Multimedia Developers Association, LLC. Uh, you tell me when to stop. <laughs> um, this is the second part of a three-part tutorial. This is the more advanced version of um, a video game design flowchart. This shows how certain things can go in very secular ways. So for instance, um, play reaches a certain part of the level and a cutscene plays. So it sounds simple enough, you know, it's player reaches a point, arrow goes down, and then another spot, and it says cutscene plays. But it gets a bit more complicated because player can then either move down a pathway toward a small town or down a pathway to battle enemies. So that gives uh, that's something you see in a lot of video games. Obviously, it's you know it's pretty important. Um, two different scenarios linked by one other scenario. So let's get started. Uh, simply go to Microsoft Word, as you saw in the original tutorial. Hope you saw it. If you haven't, um, go and check it out. Uh, go to Insert and Shape, and a list of shapes will appear. So let's start by selecting the square and let's drag and uh, drag and drop it and right click and click add text so player reaches the tree of life I don't know I'm just making this up as they go along but uh, that's an example of the certain part of the level let's just say it's reaching the tree of life uh, take an arrow in the shape section and it's the uh, one-sided arrow not the two-sided make sure you use the one-sided arrow and drag and uh, drag and drop it downward and um, I would use something more indicative so use a diamond actually and you draw a diamond drag it so that it's nice and neatly lined up with the uh, arrow from before make it a little bit bigger right click add text and cutscene plays now if you're truly doing a video game you're gonna have to label what cutscene that is um, as an example cutscene number 70 plays let's see how that would look if it's a little bit bigger yeah but um, let's just leave it like that because that's really how a video game uh, would work. Obviously you don't want to just say cutscene plays, you want to say cutscene and then label that cutscene and say that it plays. So okay, the cutscene plays, now the player has two options. They can move down a pathway toward a small town or down a pathway to battle enemies. So because this is these two events or actions in this case are triggered right after the same event, you would go horizontally to the left and again to the right each indicating the three the two different scenarios so let's do squares um, this is let's uh, looks a little uneven there let's just uh, make this a little bit smaller drag it up and right click player goes down path A which would represent uh, toward a small town. Now let's just go ahead and copy and paste that, move it over here, and let's adjust it to path B, representing the pathway to battle enemies. So that's um, one way you break up, uh, you know, as an example in this case, player reaches the tree of life and a cutscene plays. Player has two options now. This is more level design than programming but it really does help improve flow with a, any type of game and in any area to be honest so, um, so what happens when they go down path A they reach a small town so take your arrow and draw it down and let's do a circle so what happens when they reach that small town let's start with just something very simple which would be the player player reaches town number 23. Ugh. Hate Microsoft Word. 
Okay, so that's uh, what happens if they go down path A. Now, if they go down path B, what's going to happen? They're going to battle enemies. So, copy and paste and drag and drop over here. And player reaches battleground, as an example. Let's make it a little bit bigger so that fits. Player reaches battleground. Okay. Let's try to even these out a little bit. Um, it is good to be symmetrical. Um, okay, so now player has reached town 23. Um, I'm going to pick up where the rest of this goes. Um, obviously a more advanced one uh, that shows what happens when you had to break, for instance, this down into different scenarios. For instance, what happens when they reach town 23? Uh, and over here, same thing, what happens when they reach the battleground? Uh, what enemies are there? Um, how many? So uh, this should get you started, and we will cover the remainder in the more advanced tutorial. Thank you for watching, and uh, be safe.